Hi, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to configure a master local setup. We start by going to configuration on the controller that you want to be the master. We need to input the IP set keys for the local. And you need the IP address of the local also. And now we'll do the key. Oop. And let's add that in and then apply. Okay, now we need to go to your desired local controller and we'll do the same thing. We need to change this to local because that's what you need it to be and you need the IP of the master controller. And also the IP set, the same IP set key from before. Let's apply that. And you'll need to reboot the controller after this due to a role change, as you see right here. So let's save the configuration. Maintenance. And let's reboot the controller. Now that the controller has rebooted, let's log back in. And let's check out the monitoring page on the master. As you see, we, uh, we now have two controllers up. And it is the master and the local. And they both updated successfully. Now let's see what the local looks like. You'll see there is a new tab up here, master switch. And let's see where that goes. That goes to the master. And the configuration is still local, like it should be. So that configuration is now complete. Thank you for your time and thanks for watching the video.